Yeah. We're doing tea. For tea sanity? Yeah, for tea sanity. Insanity. Okay. You got it wrong. <laughs> Release the Kraken. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. You can just sit here? Yeah, yeah, it's our tea Kraken. You can't sit down though because I need to hold him. Say Kraken again. Kraken. Do you want the strength noise? No. No, 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 no. Come no, I've blown this one now. This is mine. I don't care. No, oh, fine. What do you drink? Uh, Red Mountain. I think you should introduce it with the box. It might be in nature. It is in nature. Black Red Mountain tea. Premium. Don't forget that. Premium. Pure fresh tea leaves. Yep. And it's the ultimate tea experience. So. That's what the box says. It's not necessarily what we says. I think it's pretty good and it has an amazing box. We've not drunk it yet, but it does have an amazing box. And the box comes with this small packet of tea, which is actually... Mm, not very many grams. Some. Some. 50, some. I think, but it might be more. Medium. Medium amount of tea. <gasps> Doesn't even say... I don't see what it says. And like a little instruction packet as well. Yeah, so it's got... Yeah. It's nice. A nice amount of information about this tea and others. Which we will ignore. <clears throat> because we're totally professional. That's a good colour. It's kind of golden, not really red. Yeah, this type of tea is confusing. It's red. Because it's Chinese black tea. It's not what we'd call black tea. Chinese people call it black tea. But then what we'd call black tea in China is called red tea. Ridiculous. Yeah, but that's fine, because this is black tea. But it's confusing because it says red on the box. Yeah, you wouldn't drink this with milk no. or sugar. We don't, we don't even have milk here. No. It's all the way in the kitchen. We're yeah. not going to get that. No. Mm, it smells woody. Mm-hmm. Which is good. I don't have a coaster. That makes me worried about putting it down. No, you don't have a coaster now. I'm worried about you putting it now. Good. No, that cup doesn't have a coaster. It's not hot. Do you have an opinion about it? Yet? It's really hot. Yeah. But it smells woody. It does. It reminds me of another kind of tea, but I can't remember what it is. <laughs> it's kind of a bit darjeeling A bit more Chinese. It reminds me of that twig tea. But this one's easier to make and cheaper. Um, yeah, tastier. this was actually quite expensive. This is not cheaper. This is about six pounds. But twig tea. There is about the same price as twig tea, and you buy it in the same place, which was Whole Foods Glasgow. Yeah, that has a nicer box though. It does have a much nicer box. I think you probably paid a fair amount for the box. Yeah. Whereas the twig tea just came in a wee plastic bag oh. with a wee little top. So actually, that's probably more expensive. Oh, I haven't got a tree to use. Is that really your favourite part? It's my favourite part, apart from drinking They're tea. They're good big leaves, actually. Once you have a wee look in the box. I also just want Put to the have... the camera in the pot! I also just want to have a small, small discussion about this pot. Because I'm really excited about it. Anybody who's watched this before may be familiar with this pot. But you're not! This is a different one! It's a different pot. And it's very, very similar to the pot our grandmother bought in, like, 1961. And I found it in a charity shop. And I paid five pounds, no, four pounds, right? So now we have two. So it's a really nice stainless steel pot. Possibly younger teapot than our previous teapot. Or maybe older, we don't know. No. We don't know what age either in the last week, to be honest. No. I'm guessing 1961 for the other one. This one lingers. Yeah, th in this, a woody, is, delicious this is a way. really good black tea, actually. Chinese black tea. Chinese black tea. It's, it's very similar to a Darjeeling uh, or like a light Ceylon, which are more Indian black teas. In fact, it's very similar to them. It would take milk, but you don't need milk. It would take milk? But I don't want to. No, I don't want to. Maybe a second cup, once it gets a bit stronger. We can take milk in that, see how it takes milk as an experiment. Mmm. We're filming in Edinburgh. Not Glasgow. Not Glasgow. Mostly because that's where we are. There's Isn't that where we got the tea? There's a festival outside. But not right outside or else it'll be way too loud. Especially because the windows are open. 
Well, it, there is a venue just like there, isn't there? Yeah, that way, but the windows are that way. And there's, yeah, so it's fine. Everywhere is a venue. Yeah. My house could be a venue. We should do this as the fringe next year. We just get an audience. <gasps> yes. <laughs> we just get an audience. Every, and every day, day we drink a we tea. We drink a different tea. And we can and give tea to the audience as well. It's included in the secret price. Maybe. And we can try and get guests in uh, from people we know who are doing shows. Yes. We'd be like, so, this guy is doing a show. It's pretty good. He's kind of famous, but you know, we don't yeah. care about that. Drink, we'll set, up, we'll set it up for next year if we could be bothered. That'd be amazing. Hmm, where would we do it? Anywhere. We could do it here. We this could, could be it. a venue. We could do it here. But that would be like annoying because you know we have. We have to have a kitchen big enough to make like our, our audience of five people tea. Ten this oh. this coaster is sticky from swapping. The the same coaster. I think it's gonna have the same problem. Oh, no, this no this, it's, it's got sticky on it. Ugh. Yeah. Emma wants to punch the boy in the face for offering out a sticker. I didn't actually punch him in the face. <laughs> yeah, you did. I didn't. <laughs> what did you did? I just almost did. <laughs> I said a confined space with stickers involved. <laughs> oh no! It would have been bad. Sticker. He was like three, and his mum was there. And you were like what two? No, I was like twenty-one. <laughs> <laughs> and you almost punched the four-year-old for offering you a sticker. I didn't punch him. Okay. Almost. He was sticking them under his face and everyone oh. else's face. I thought, I thought like the little kids mostly liked you. They do. That's why he was offering me a sticker. Oh. <laughs> like, no. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't do it. I will not play with Duplo anymore. Even though I like it and it's fun. Yeah. I had great fun with Duplo. I, I quite enjoy Duplo. Yeah. Part of my degree is playing with Lego. Lego's but great. I avoided the playing with the Lego part and mostly played with cameras. I did colouring in as part of one degree and running around in the forest playing games as part of another degree. I did I did art as a degree, so basically mm -hmm. just drew pictures. Yeah. But with a computer. That's some really stressful colouring in. It's part of one of mine. Really stressful colouring yeah. in. What was stressful about it? Well, I had my final map, and I needed to hand in my final map, and I coloured it in using watercolour pencils. So I coloured it in, and then I had to watercolour it. I remember that. Yeah. Cool. That's I, good. I only ever used a computer for art in my art degree. That's lame. But that's because I can't really draw. I can only sculpt with pixels. You could probably sculpt with clay. Probably could sculpt with clay, but it doesn't have an undo button. But you can't do the control Z. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh my god, I sculpted it wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, control Z, control, wait, this clay doesn't have a control Z. What I really hate is books don't have control F. Oh, that sucks. This is, this is what I think I would do if I lived in the Harry Potter universe. Mm -hmm. Invent a Google spell. How oh, much time do they spend yes. in the library? Like, oh, all their great. time. Google spell, you'd make millions. Apart from, do you copyright spells? I don't really know how it would work, but you'd, you'd be have like... To, you'd put that spell in a book, and other people would have to look for the spell in the book. Yeah, and they'd have to buy that book to learn yeah, that spell. Yeah, no, no, but then imagine it. Because also, you'd be like, oh, like, I really need the Google spell, let's well, look it up in a book, well, it'll take ages. Google originally did. They were all like, we'll just make the search engine and put it out for free, mm -hmm. so that people know that we're awesome. So you could use that business plan. You could yeah. make this spell, put it in a book, which is basically essentially free, and then everybody would realise that you've revolutionised wizard libraries. And they'd yeah. like, be clamouring to give you a proper job. Already. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I, I was genuinely convinced a little kid I was a wizard. And I felt really bad about it, because I didn't think she would believe me. I was just like messing around. I'm like, yeah, I'm a wizard. She's like, I don't believe you. And I was like, look, I've got a beard and a hat, because I was wearing a hat. Yeah. And she was like, Mummy, 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 he's a wizard, he's a wizard. <laughs> I was like, I'm not, I'm not really a wizard. Aww. And she was so disappointed, and I was like, I, I didn't think she would believe me. We talked Sorry. about tea for a full, like, two minutes. Yeah, and it was really boring. Yeah, we had to look at the box and talk about it, talk about how woody it is. <laughs> I think oh, we should do people. a second cup, and we should see if this takes milk. Okay. <laughs> oh, I okay. might have to get other milk. No, so we have milk now, and it doesn't smell off. It's not off, and I reckon this tea is dark enough. Emma, demonstrate the darkness of the tea. Uh. uh yep. Yeah, okay. Now put that back. So it oh doesn't fall no. Over. Eh, eh. Okay. Back. And we only want a tiny little bit of milk for these yes. tea bits. I think you've put me out of frame. 
I'm not picking up for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now milk. Try the whole milk. In, not in frame either. You don't need to be in frame before milk. That's fine, but I was being pushed while pouring milk. It was going to go everywhere. Mix it. Mix it. Stir the tea. Let me back in frame. No. Nobody really wants to see me anyway. What, because of your big beauty face? Mm. Okay, let's try it with a tiny little touch of milk. Move over, please. Okay, you move that way. That's better. But now I want to slope. Now we're both in frame. Oh, I like it. That's actually really good, isn't it? That's really tasty. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to maybe take milk if you're a milk drinking tea person. And I'm not really, but that's actually really good. Mm-hmm. Unexpected milk taker. That should be our name of our first album. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> our first album is going to be called 12, remember? 12? Is it? Okay. Because it's vitamin B12. Okay, yeah, that's true, yeah. Mm. Is it going to be the one that has an infomercial themed cover? Yes. Okay, good. What about our first album with our uh, stoner rock band release, The Kraken? Mm, well, it has to have a Kraken on the front, obviously. Oh, I know the Kraken that comes on the front. Oh my goodness. Knitted Kraken. <laughs> really, his mouth should be here. Yeah, it should be, because that's where Octopi have their mouths. But this one has but a he has a smiley, smiley face on the side of his not face. Because that's where all of his faces are not. Well, the same with the squid. That's true. You're not very good at cephalopod anatomy. Not on it, no. Anatomy? Anatomy. Yeah. They have a beak. What's my beaks? Yeah. That's pretty cool. And they're really smart, but in a way that is essentially completely alien to us. Because their entire nervous system, including their brain. They don't really have centralised brains, do they? I don't think so. No, they just have intelligence that spreads over their entire nervous system. I like how they get out of a jar if you put them in a jar. Anyway, shall we round this up? Yeah, we should. We should probably round this up. Since we've tried this with milk and without milk. And without milk. I think it'd be even better with like a tiny little bit of sugar. Mm-hmm. But such a tiny amount that you'd probably count the grains. In nature, black red mountain. Premium. Black red mountain. Tea, premium, pure fresh tea leaves, the ultimate tea experience. Tea for life. Tea for life, pure high grade fresh tea leaves. Okay, there's a lot of writing on this. There is a lot of writing, we're not going to read it all. Really good. It's tasty, I like it, it's one of my favourites. If you can track that down, if you like black tea, or even if you just like a light tea, then you don't make it very strong. Or if you like tea with a little bit of milk, it's magic tea. It's good. It's it's all the teas in one. Mm, that was a good one. Yep. If there's no cool If there's a link, it'll be below. <clears throat> okay. Just watch out for the cracking. Are you guys still filming where we go on a tangent? Yeah, so yeah, we're, we're still, still filming. filming. This is how it works. <laughs> I hope you yeah. <laughs>